Mrs. David Lyndon. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. Um, why does the Prime Minister think we have now seen 15 consecutive polls showing majority support for Scottish independence? Uh, Mr. Speaker, the people of Scotland, as the Honourable Gentleman knows uh, very well, voted in uh, 2014 by a substantial majority to remain in the uh, UK. I believe that was the right decision, and I believe that were they ever uh, to be asked in the future uh, the same question again, I believe it would be the same answer. But as he, as he, as he has said, uh, and as, as, the, as the gentleman opposite have said many times, it was a once in a generation event, uh, Mr. Speaker. Let's head up to Scotland with Pete Wishart. Pete Wishart. And thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Uh, the Prime Minister didn't quite answer my honourable friend from Glasgow East on why support for independence is so high. So maybe I can maybe tempt him with a couple of reasons. Firstly, the, the leadership of the First Minister, which the Scots contrast with him. Then there's his crazy, chaotic Brexit, a Brexit that Scotland didn't vote for. But it's also down to him personally. He is probably the biggest single recruiting sergeant that we have. And for that, we mightily thank him. So can I ask him, on behalf of all of us who want to see an independent Scotland, could you please take a bow and accept our many thanks? Prime Minister. Uh, Mr Speaker, I'm, I'm delighted to, to accept the, the thanks of, of the uh, Honourable Gentleman. But I may say that, uh, that I think it's really thanks to, to him and to the Scottish Nationalist Party uh, that uh, we've been able to keep our wonderful United Kingdom together because it's the sheer incoherence yeah. of their position, their refusal to address the tough uh, questions of what breaking up the UK really means, the impacts uh, on, uh, on our budgets, on our economy, uh, the impacts on Scotland, uh, the impacts on our whole country. It, it's, it's their manifest inability to explain uh, what they actually mean, Mr Speaker, that meant the people of this country voted, in, uh, Scotland voted in 2014 to remain part of the UK. They're right then and they'll be right in the future to stay. Yeah.